Raitano. I'm nutritionist for Ellenville Regional Rural Health Network at Ellenville Regional Hospital. And today we're going to be making no-bake no healthy pumpkin cheesecake. And before we get started, I would like to just say please go on to our website at erhny.org. You can like and follow. We have all of our social media links on there as well. So this is what the finished product is going to look like. So I decided to put them in these cute little mason jars for the presentation. It gives it a kind of fall feel, but you could definitely put them in different bowls, little glass bowls, however you would like. And before we get started, I'm, we're going to go over the ingredients and list of recipes, but make sure you look down below. We will have a list of ingredients and the recipes for you guys to take a look at. So we're going to begin by making the crust for our recipe. We're going to start off with four sheets of graham crackers, a third cup of pecans, which by the way is great for heart health, brain health, and is also packed with fiber, which helps in digestion. You're also going to add a little bit of cinnamon to it, which helps in anti-inflammatory properties, as well as help lowering your blood sugar levels. So go ahead, grab your favorite food processor, and let's get started. So now we're going to go ahead and prepare our filling for the pumpkin cheesecake. I went ahead and already measured all of our ingredients, so we're going to start off with the 8 ounce reduced fat cream cheese. Reduced fat cream cheese is much healthier than using regular cream cheese because it's less in fat and also less in calories. Then you're going to go ahead and add the 1 cup of pumpkin puree. Believe it or not, pumpkin is actually very good for you because it is highly nutritious and also has a ton of vitamin A and it's also high in antioxidants which help reduce your chance of getting any type of chronic diseases. Then we are going to add our non-fat Greek yogurt. So next we're going to go ahead and put in our six tablespoons of pure maple syrup. I like using pure maple syrup than any type of refined sugars because it's much healthier for you, but it also helps give that little bit of a boost of a sweetener to your baked goods. You can also use it in yogurt and oatmeal, and it's also great and helps improve digestion. The last step, you're going to go ahead and put your pumpkin pie spice as well as your vanilla extract. Once you do all that, you're going to go ahead, put it in your mixing bowl, mix it all up, and put it in your refrigerator for 30 minutes. So I went ahead, I mixed all the ingredients together for 5 minutes, and then I went and put it in the fridge. And here we are, 30 minutes later, and this is the final product. So this is the last step. We're going to go ahead and compile all of our ingredients. We're going to start off by putting the crust at the bottom of the mason jar, and then go ahead and add your filling. This is what the finished product is going to look like. What's great about this recipe is not only is it easy and simple to make, but you can also add a bunch of different spices on top. You can add nutmeg, cinnamon, and even whipped cream. You can also make it diabetic friendly by not adding as many tablespoons of maple syrup to it, and you can also make it nut free by not adding the pecans. Hope you enjoyed making this recipe as much as I did, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you'll go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 